Now this is all that remains of Graham Campbell's family home after he was targeted by a criminal gang for two years. The councillor has quit politics after a firebomb in June this year destroyed the bedroom he shared with his wife and ultimately their home. In his first TV interview since that attack, councillor Graham Campbell sat down with our social affairs correspondent Chris Clements and recounted what's been a terrifying ordeal. We know what's linked to my job as a councillor. Both my wife and I do. Why would anyone want to continue after that? Graeme Campbell is leaving local politics. An IT consultant, he's been a councillor for 14 years and a member of the Tories for 20. But next year, he'll resign from the council. That's after two years of targeted harassment and intimidation. He's seen cars torched and vandalised with acid. And, in June this year, a firebomb attack that ripped through the bedroom he shares with his wife. This is what's left of his house today. It took place in Straven, South Lanarkshire, a market town that ranks highly for housing, health outcomes and wealth. The first attack came in May 2019. He shot this footage himself as his wife's car was burning in their driveway. I knew immediately it would have been a targeted attack. Within, within about 10 minutes of the fire being put out in her car, the, the lead fire officer was able to say that accelerant had been poured in to my wife's car in the fire. Well, so we knew it wasn't just a car exploding out of his own free will. Somebody had come to our house in the middle of the night and poured, smashed the window of my wife's car and poured accelerant into it, setting it on, light, setting it on fire. He returned to work. The culprit was never found and the police investigation was closed the following summer. So the job continued as normal and um, we thought we were home and dry. Then in, again the early hours of a morning in August 2020, um, my youngest son comes into the bedroom saying I've heard glass has been smashed, there's been smashing glass. <laughs> I go out to have a look and right enough the window smashed and I immediately was able to look back at the CCTV and see that um, somebody with a hood and a mask had come up to both cars, had um, wiped a corrosive acid over the roofs of the cars, the, um, the body panels of the cars. I was, we were, we were, we were gutted. Both my wife and I talked about giving up again after the second attack, but changing what I was doing as a counsellor, not taking any day-to-day -day involvement in um, objecting or supporting planning applications. You know, take my head down off the parapet might be another um, phrase to use, and that's exactly what I did. So what happened? I have absolutely no clue. Except we were wakened up just after midnight on a Saturday morning in June this year to both cars on fire and our house burning. You can't explain what it feels like to sit and watch your home burn. We were under no illusion that we weren't being targeted again. And in fact, we knew we were being attacked because the guy who set the cars alight had set himself alight and was running across the road on fire himself and had been seen by numerous people. So we knew that we'd been hit for a third time in a little over two years. But we had nowhere to go that night. We literally sat in the only clothes we then owned until the shops opened because everything had been destroyed. The family hasn't returned to their home since the last attack. But why was he targeted? Councillor Campbell won't speak publicly about it. All he will say is that he thinks it's connected to local planning. Believing it was probably linked to planning matters, I made it absolutely clear to my constituents publicly that I would not be dealing with any, I would not publicly um, support or object to a planning application unless it had a fundamental effect on the entire ward. 
He's in dispute with the council over his claims he received no support, claims the council has said are untrue. He said he was also disappointed in support received from the Tories, part of his reason for quitting the party. But if he feels that he was let down by head office, then you know, we have to respect that. But you know, I, I am aware that a number of people in the party did contact him and offer to help. You know, everyone in Straven knows who's behind this and what it's about. And I think it perhaps tells us something about organised crime in Scotland. We've seen attacks on him, multiple attacks. We've seen attacks on the media, including myself when I was a journalist. I think organised crime in Scotland is emboldened. Police Scotland is still investigating, but says there has been no new developments with the case. Councillor Campbell says he will now quit to protect his family. My priority is my wife. I'm putting her first. Call me selfish, but I think I've given more than enough to the community. I've nearly paid with my life twice since 2019. My wife has nearly paid with her life twice for me being an elected member. Why would anyone want to continue after that?